Yo, what's up? It's Sasha and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. Make sure you subscribe so we could expand the family and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video of mine. You're notified whenever I upload. For today's video, I'm going to talk about how I passed my road test. Like, what the heck, Sasha? I passed my road test. Yes, I just had my first lesson on the highway yesterday and I was so scared. I filmed a little bit of it yesterday and then my camera kind of ran out of storage on my disc so we'll see how much stuff I have of that um but I'll definitely film more on the highway and I'm gonna just talk about uh how I failed my road test the first time and the second time and then why I passed the third time Ma, when was the first time I told you that I wanted to drive? Like, I w wonder how it feels to drive. When I was nine, I said, I wonder how it feels to drive a car. Now, I know how it feels to drive a car because I actually went on the highway yesterday. And for two years, I was telling my mom, you know what? I am going to be driving to my high school to work because I am starting to intern at my high school tomorrow. So shout out to my high school, love you so much, you're the best, amazing, lit. Okay, I don't know why I just said that, please don't hate me. I did pass my road test, which is so weird because I was a nervous wreck. And I'm going to tell you how I failed the first time. So, basically the day before my first road test, it was a fast day and I'm not allowed to go on my phone and it's just like, it's a struggle. I could never fast. I get sick and my metabolism is just not, it's just so off. It's just not a good time that day. So when it was like right after the fast ended, I went on my phone and I saw that I got a missed phone call from a weird number. I mean, I recognized the number. But I didn't at the same time, so I called it back, and it was the driving school. They were like, so you have a road test scheduled for the next morning at, I think it was 8 a.m., so I had to get up at, no, it was at, se I think it was at 8 in the morning, and I had to get up at, like, it, it, I just had to get up really early. It was in Westchester, and then I had, like, an hour lesson right before, so... I was just not ready because I was so thrown off. I forgot that I had a road test scheduled the next day and I was fasting the day before. I was just a hot mess. I was hot, but I was a mess. I remember that morning, I was so nervous. I was so tired and I didn't realize that I shouldn't have like had coffee that morning because I was so jittery. I was also off my medicine because I do take medicine every morning for my physical and mental anxiety so like I stop shaking when I'm so nervous and I just I was off my medicine for a while I don't recommend it I thought that I didn't need it anymore but honey oh I needed it because I was shaking and sweating and I was like I wonder why I was like girl you wonder why because you went off your medicine like don't ever do that it just it sucks when i got in the car i was like yes i'm gonna pass i'm great and i went to um the driving or like the road test site stiff and they took me i was never at that road test site before so i i had no idea what the roads looked like i mean i did but like i never have driven there before so she took me on a weird path and then I was like going on this really windy hill and first of all I stopped in an intersection and I shouldn't have because the people like the cars on that side they had a red light but I mean red light they had a stop sign I didn't I could just keep going but I stopped because I hesitated. I didn't see the stop sign, even though my driving instructor told me that there's a stop sign for them and not for me. But I was so, so nervous. I just stopped and she was like, why you stop? I'm like, I, I, I don't know. And I just kept going. Then the second mistake that I did was that I was too close to the car in front of me. I had to be five feet from the car in front. 
I was that I was too close. Then the next mistake was that I was it was like a very narrow road, so I got a little too close to that car, so it was like, quote, accident might have happened or something, I don't know. I think I still have like the list from last time. I don't want to read it, it's just going to make me so stressed, but I got onto a road that was so windy and so narrow, and I think I accelerated a little too much, and I should have put my foot on the brake a tiny bit but I didn't so I went over the line and she was like you're over the line I'm like well what do you expect it's a narrow road and I'm driving and then I realized you know what I should have not really accelerated that much um is accelerate the right term to use I should have not put so much gas so when we got back to the road test site she asked me to pull over and she's like please make another appointment, this is what you got wrong. I'm like, I'm sorry, just got nervous. She's like, oh, that's understandable. And then the second time, I had such a cranky guy. Um, he was really, he talked a lot, which made me really, really nervous. And apparently he knew my instructor because it's just something he said kind of threw me off. He was like, you bring pretty girls, but you can't teach them how to drive. Why you can't teach them how to, uh, I don't know what he was saying. He got into the car, he said, go. Why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you stopping in an intersection? You have to go. And I'm like, really? This is not happening again. So again, I stopped. Shouldn't have. It was the same exact road test site, except different examiner. I got a little too close when I was in the intersection and I was going like against the traffic on the other side and I got a little too close so that's what happened with that that's how I failed the second time as for the parallel parking the second time I was far again from the curb but also the back of the car was in the street so the car was crooked so this is the car in front of me and then this was the car it was crooked so yeah I didn't hit the curb but I still failed. So then what happened was after we went back to the road test site, he said, you are a great driver because I was, I was so careful, but he said, I'm too nervous, which is true. So he could tell what was going on in my head, but his job is to pass or fail. I failed, unfortunately. So, I said, I'm sorry, I couldn't see the road, which I shouldn't have said that because I think that triggered him a little more, but I said, I couldn't see the road. He said, maybe next time you should make yourself a little higher up so I could see the road because this was me. Like, this is a steering wheel. This was me. I was right here. I should have been up there because I really had to see the road. I couldn't really see it. I was, I was like, I'm too sure. He said, maybe sit on the pillow or something. I'm like, Good thinking. The third time, I passed. Just like my brother. My brother failed two times and passed the third just like me. Um, no, I was just like him. Yeah, okay. My sister failed ten times and passed in Iowa. I'm sorry, but I have to say that just so you have a sense of that even though I was really nervous, I still passed the third time. And I passed in Riverdale. I was very prepared, but oh my gosh, I texted my instructor so many times before I took that road test. It's crazy. I was a nervous wreck. He was like, calm down. You'll do fine. Just breathe. You know what you're doing. You're a good driver. You just have to focus and don't be in the mindset of a test. So then I went to the road test site. It was like a rainy day. But I was tired, I didn't have any coffee, I had my medicine, I had breakfast, it was all good. Took it in the afternoon, and a guy came in next to me, I was like, I was calm, but I was also really nervous, but I just had to like, talk through the steps to myself, I'm like, okay, um, signal, you heard it guys, like if you heard my other videos, he said just talk it through to yourself, like say, in your head signal um blind spot go stop just like talk it through don't scream it like right sir what else i think that's it um if you're taking your road test anytime soon good luck and you'll do great just breathe relax i'm a very nervous person so take it from a very 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 nervous person 
I passed the third time and I love you all so much. Thanks for watching and share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!